everybody, it is a chilly day here in San Diego. Now I am standing in front of these two art pieces because I would like to redo this gentleman right here. So these are both watercolors that I have done. And as you can see, his head's a little wonky in this region. So I'd like to redo that today. And I just thought that you guys could join me. And I also have some other home updates for you guys that we'll get into a bit later. Now these frames here are just both from Target and they do have the matting in there which I think just elevates any piece of art and makes it look very professional. And he's just taped to the back here so we'll have to remove him. He's free! Here he is close up. He's just got some tape on his sides from where he was taped to the matting. But as you can see, he's just this nice royal blue, several different shades in a nice contour style. So again, there's not really much wrong with him, but I'm a perfectionist. So I would like to correct this side of his head and make it more symmetric. Welcome to my little artist studio, my little setup today. I'm just at the kitchen island and I've got Mr. Man just hanging out right here as reference. And today I will be using the Koi watercolor palette. And as you open it up, you can see the swatches that my mother did for me. You can see your color card here. And you do have your mixing palette. And look at this little setup, it's so darling. So what I'm going to do is just connect the palette and my station here. I will be using this Canson watercolor paper. It's cold pressed and it is the size 11 by 15. So first things first is I need to sketch him onto my paper here. The next step is going to be erasing all my hard lines, making them very faint so that they don't show through the watercolor. As I move on to different portions of his face and body, I will be slightly varying the shades and hues of the blue. done with this portion I'm going to start changing my color and now I've just mixed up a slight purple tint and I've used number 147 here
show you a trick with watercolor, how to get paints and mistakes off. So you start with a clean, wet brush and just start scrubbing it away. And voila! So for this side of his hair, I wanted to add more texture and movement. So as you can see, I am going in with some more detailed strokes here, leaving some white, just again, showing some motion and movement in these curls. Okay, and here they are side by side. I think you guys probably enjoy this new one on the left way more. <laughs> he's definitely looking like an upgraded version, so he's gonna go back on the wall. Don't you worry about old Mr. Man here. He is going to a good home. My friend Chelly is going to adopt him and show him a new beautiful life, help him change his ways and become a better man. Well, everybody, I have been wanting to try something new for quite some time and that being new hairstyles. So if you've been watching me um, for a while or if you know me personally, I really don't use much heat on my hair. I have naturally curly hair, um, but the hard water here in California has not been kind to it. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to start using some heat on my hair, but we're going to be as gentle as possible. So what I'm envisioning, envisioning, is that I can create an at-home blowout, salon style, you know, like Farrah Fawcett swoopy, hair. So this is my hair right now. I did brush it out this morning. So I purchased this because as you guys saw from my get ready with me video, I do have a hair dryer, but I glued the diffuser part onto my hair dryer because the diffuser kept popping off because this thing is like 15 years old or something. And it was driving me insane that this diffuser was popping off. So I didn't want to purchase a whole new hair dryer. I didn't want to purchase curlers. I didn't want to purchase a round styling brush. So my mother told me about this and it's an all-in-one essentially. So this just arrived and I thought that we would unbox it and try it out together. And if you have any recommendations or styling tips or even advice on how to use this, please let me know. Alrighty. Oh, it's large. <laughs> Here she is. It's just pink and black. I got it on Amazon for $40. The other colors were like $20 more. So we're going with pink and it's got a good hand feel, but if you have tinier hands, this might be a struggle. I don't know how to, is this the correct motion? Is this what we're gonna be doing? I don't know. So essentially this device, how it works is it's got some regular bristles, like a normal hairbrush, as well as the bore bristles. And I believe that air is going to come out of these vents and we are going to brush style and dry at the same time. And it does come with instructions. So let's see in here if they recommend a specific motion. They do not. So let's start off with just seeing if this works as like a regular hairbrush. It certainly does. All right, <laughs> who's ready to fix this mess? So I believe I'm going to set it too high.
Okay, so what I've done so far is just kind of brush through, blow out all the curls and the waves that I had, and now it's just this slightly wavy, slightly straight. Feeling silky though, that's probably the boar bristles. So now let's actually try to style, and I, I think that I'm going to pull up and section my hair off for this because it is so long. It will help manage the styling process. So just clipped it up there. Let's start with this section. And again, I'm going to just turn it on, wrap it, and pull. And this could be completely wrong, but this is what we're going to try to do. So let's start it. So it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. It seems like it's kind of straightening it, which I have a straightener. If I wanted it straight, I would just straighten it. This may be returned, but let's push forward. I'm going to just pull down this whole section now and leave this. Oh, it's all coming down, whatever. it's pretty. It's definitely not what I wanted. It's very straight. And I wanted like some, you all know what I want. You all know exactly what I want and I can't achieve it. And I don't know how. I want it kind of to be like this, but staying on its own. I'm not sure if to achieve this specific hairstyle, if I just need to have layers in my hair. I don't know if I should return it or not because I could just be using it wrong. I could watch a tutorial online. want to be a beautiful girly with beautiful beachy windswept hair. So we are back and I just watched a bunch of tutorials on how to use this Revlon One Step Volumizing Tool. I did it so incredibly wrong. Could not have done a worse job of using this tool. So essentially what you need to do is use it on damp hair and apply products. And once you are done with the tool, which by the way, I wasn't even using it the correct way. You need to lock it in place and set the heat in to the curls by using a curler. So that just means we will have to try a part two at some point when I am not tired from holding this giant brush. But all in all, I don't think I'm going to return it because it is faster than straightening. And I feel like this has a ceramic head here and it's less harsh of a heat application on my hair. So overall better for my hair itself. But thank you for coming on this little hair adventure with me. As for the other apartment updates, I did replace those two colorful men that you all saw in my apartment tour with these two beach prints here. And it's not because I don't like the men, it is because I love redecorating. My mind constantly changes what it likes to see on the walls. And this is a cheap and easy way to redecorate your house without having to spend a lot of money. But I think I'm going to take a trip to Target to get a new frame. As you can see, this top one is gold and the bottom is brown. And this bottom frame perfectly matches these. So we will go and pick up a fourth matching frame. 
If you didn't watch my apartment tour, these are the two pieces that I had hanging up where the beach prints are. And I absolutely love these. I made these myself using oil pastels. However, I'm just looking for a change. These will probably go back up in the future, but for now, we're trying something new. And the final home update is for the bathroom. I just like to get a tray to place these three items on. I think that placing items on a tray makes it look more cohesive and it declutters the space a little bit. And if you were curious what I meant by tray, I just meant something like this crystal tray here. Again, it just kind of elevates the space. It makes it look like everything has a purpose. And instead of having a bunch of small items, it looks like one cohesive piece. the urge in my old age to get myself a wicker basket. All right, everybody, it is time for the Target haul. So first I will start with some essentials that I needed for my hair styling tool, that Revlon all-in-one volumizer tool. So I did purchase myself some hair rollers. Um, I think that's going to make the process of setting those waves for the blowout much easier. And then along with that, I did purchase some sectioning clips to clip my hair into the curlers. And then I needed more shampoo. Now for the fun part, which is all of the home decor. Now I showed you guys all of the options of trays. <laughs> that Target had to offer. And I ended up with this one here, the wicker one. More on this later. And then we did find the matching frames. This one does come with matting, but I will have to remove that as this is an 11 by 14 frame. And then as an added treat, this little vase, <laughs> you guys will see it matches everything in the bedroom. Beautifully, it ties everything into the dresser and the geese, you'll see. Now, let me show you it all put together. So here is the new tray with everything on it. And you might be wondering, Megan, why on earth did you not get that white marble one? It matches the counters perfectly. Let me tell you, I don't know. I don't know why I did what I did and why I got the wicker one instead of the white marble one, but I'm thinking my thought process was that this wicker one matches everything else in my house. And I liked it better than that white marble one. But the one place that I got the tray for was the bathroom and these white countertops. So theoretically, the only place I needed to plan for was the white countertops. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is what we're ending up with though. This is, this is just what it is. And now onto my pride and joy of this Target trip, which is this muted green vase. And look how stunning and look how well it ties in with everything. The green and brown and the matting and the frames of the geese tie into the vase and the grooves on the dresser tie in with the ridges on the vase. It's just 10 out of 10. And here are the beach prints and that top one has its new frame. It is matching its partner here at the bottom. And again, it matches these guys. And I just quickly wanted to show you the other prints that came in that set from Amazon. So I do have options whenever I feel the need to redecorate again, I can just interchange them. 
Alrighty, well that concludes this vlog of trying new things and home updates, so please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, go back and watch all my other videos, there's plenty of content for you there, and as always, I love you guys so so much, and I'll see you next time.